Hi everybody, today I wanted to show you a quick video on how easy it's going to be to put together your brand new website using the CMS tool and we're going to be able to do it in under 20 minutes. Um, some of the feedback that we've gotten about creating the website is that uh, depending on your level of background it could feel a little daunting to put together an entire website from scratch uh, using a tool that you're not terribly familiar with but the good news is is you don't need to know how to code you don't need to do, know how to um, do any of that kind of stuff it's all drag and drop it's very very similar to something like a Wix or a Squarespace I think you'll find that it's quite easy so that's what I wanted to show you today um, so we're here we are on our dashboard screen which is where it's going to land you uh, when you first log in so we're gonna go ahead and jump into the CMS tool which can be found up here uh, now the very first time that you see this, um, clicking into this is going to provide you with some options in terms of what kind of template you want to use uh, to start your website. Feel free to pick any of them. It's always interchangeable. Um, it's not set in stone. We can always make changes uh, to the entire template or just pieces of the template itself. Um, this screen that it's showing you here, it just wants you to choose the website that we want to edit. In this case, we're going to be editing the team website. So we're going to go ahead and just click the URL and that's going to take us to a landing page with a couple of different options here. Um, so what we're going to do is go ahead and dive right in and just start working on the website. I'll go ahead and start my little timer down here in the bottom once we kind of get done explaining everything. But really the approach that I like to take is start with the header and kind of move down the site. There's already some templated options there and you can see it's already pulling in some things so really the work that you need to do is relatively minimal. It's just a function of doing some customizations, making everything uh, look the way that you want it. So I like to do kind of one sweep uh, top to bottom, uh, make some edits, make some adjustments, and then go back, preview the website, and see if it works for me. Uh, let's go ahead and start our timer and we'll get going. So the first thing that I would work on here is the header. Uh, now, if you want to edit any of these blocks that you can see get highlighted when you hover over them, there is a pencil paper icon that exists in the top right corner there. Also, you can always just double click into this. So that's what I like to do. I'm double clicking in here, and the first thing I want to do is go to content. Now here, under the logo, uh, this is where I'm going to add the logo that I've already created in Canva. So we click here, we go replace, and the logo that I want to use is this one here. It's already sized properly, so Chime should translate that sizing pretty easily. And as you can see, there it goes. It just, go ahead, it just goes ahead and pops it up right there. Um, it's already sized the right way that I want it, so um, the only other thing I need to do is adjust how this background looks uh, for this logo. Uh, now, I'm not crazy about a big black logo uh, square um, without some background, so I'm going to go ahead and click over to Style here and make a change to the header background itself and I'm just going to create it as a black one and there we go. Uh, another thing I might think about is the text uh, size here so I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna bump that up just a little bit to make it a little more clear. So that's it for the logo and the header. Um, we're already on our way. The next option down here is the hero uh, image. Now this can be a lot of different things. It's definitely going to be your most eye-grabbing piece of the website, but you know we want to customize it. We want to make it reflect our marketing area. So again, double-clicking into it, and the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and replace this desktop image. And you have a couple of options here. You can go with a static image here. We can go with a slideshow where you can slide through several different images, or we can uh, add a video down here. Maybe we have some nice drone footage. Uh, for our purposes, let's keep it simple. I'm just going to add a background image that I've already downloaded from unsplash.com. It's a, I'll go ahead and put a graphic out here on the right side. But um, it's something that I like to use, which gives you license-free photos that are available for you to use wherever you'd like. I downloaded a nice one with the Phoenix skyline here. And let's go ahead and add that. All right. So it's replaced now. I'm going to add it, and you can see it goes ahead and changes our background image. Um, now the other thing I would look at here is how these images and how this content is presenting. So it seems to be taking up quite a bit of space. The first thing I notice here is that this is just a brokerage, uh, very boilerplate way of looking at the um, 
your organization. So what I would do is go ahead and change that. And I'm just going to use my name that I've made up for this, Chimer T7. Uh, I'm OK with the subheading here, so I'm going to leave that. But it seems to me that this guy over here is taking up a little bit too much space. So I'm going to click over here to Search section. And there's a couple of options here. Advanced Search Bar is what you're seeing here. And I'm going to try this tab search bar. Still taking up a little bit too much space. Looks a little awkward on my uh, Phoenix Skyline background. So let's just go with something simple, like a couple of buttons. This first button here is going to take you to your listings page, which will allow you to search whatever you want. And this second one here is going to take you to the home evaluation page. Uh, this is how we're generally going to be capturing sellers uh, as they go and try to evaluate their home's value. Okay, so we've gotten through that. You can also change these uh, button colors if you'd like. So for example, if I wanted to change it on the high level, I would go here to my style options up in the top left. And the theme colors here, what we really want to uh, focus on here are the button colors. So in this case, maybe I want a black button, um, or maybe I want the hover colors to also be black. I want them to be uniform. Uh, but if you go ahead and change these, you can see up here with the primary colors for the themes, it's going to start to change it all over the place. So if you like a little bit of black and white, this is kind of the way that mine is. Um, that's how you can change it across the entire site. So moving on down here, this next portion here is the l featured listings. Now, featured listings can pull from uh, a number of MLSs and it, you can create a situation where you can show whatever you'd like here. So again, doing the same thing, we're double clicking and we're going to change this a little bit because I'm not crazy about the uh, way that the pictures kind of get squished up against each other. Depending on the pictures that show up, you may want that, but for our purposes, I want them separated a little bit more. So I'm gonna go down here to the style and I'm gonna select something that feels a little bit more separated. Uh, this looks a little bit more like a Zillow or realtor.com and that site psychology seems to work pretty well. Um, now the first thing that I notice when I close this box is that it's showing five across here. Maybe I want two stacks of these. So again, I'm going to double click in here and I'm going to bump this maximum quality to 10 so that when I close this box here, now you can see it's showing 10 of them. And at the end of the day, if they want to, they can come in here and look at more listings. Uh, let's see. So moving down here. Um, your home evaluation, What we this is what we would call a call to action. Now we have a button here that's going to take them to the home evaluation page where they can input their address and uh, try to get their home's value. Now depending on your settings, um, you may set this up in such a way that you can give them a Zillow estimate or you can just create a fulfillment page that uh, tells them that you'll reach out to them uh, as long as they have their information. But the thing that I want to do with this, since it lives on my front page, is just adjust that background. So same thing, I'm double clicking in. Let's get highlighted over here. And I'm going to replace this image with this nice image I downloaded of, um, let's just call it like a desert scape here. So there it goes. It's going to go ahead and load the image. It's actually a pretty big image here, but it's going to compress it down the way that I want it. And that's what I'm looking for there. Uh, the next option here is a headshot. So this is an agent block and you can pull in as many agents as you'd like right here. Now all that magic happens here in the settings and we'll cover this in a different video in more depth. But uh, down here under team info and agents, you can see that there are some options to add roster agents, import from the CRM. Theoretically, if you wanted to, you could bring everybody in that's uh, already on your CRM headshots and all. Uh, into the site so that you can use that agent block to showcase them. Otherwise, if it's somebody who doesn't have a seat on the CRM, maybe like a transaction coordinator or a marketing person, um, you may want to go ahead and use a roster agent, in which case you just manually upload their information. But that being done, you can now pull all of the information uh, into that agent block. So if I come down here, if I double click into this, you'll see uh, it's already populating uh, the main profile here, but if there were other agents attached to this uh, CMS tool, if you add them, 
uh, they would show up here and you could just select which ones you wanted to add so maybe you want to separate them into leadership or marketing or whatever you'd like anybody that you'd like to showcase on the site so this seems to work okay for me but the next thing I want to do is come down here to the reviews block so if I double click into the reviews block again once we put some reviews in here we can change a background image so let's go ahead and create a review a couple of different options to do this you can go ahead and reference your Zillow screen name here if you want uh, if you don't use Zillow or if you're wanting to showcase some different reviews maybe from like Google there's a copy and paste kind of option if you just go here to add reviews um, it's asking you uh, who you want to create the review for but in this case let's create this one and let's call it chime seller we'll give ourselves a five here and the review says something simply like it was a pleasure to work with chimer so we add that review now and you can see that there's a couple of more options that pop up here so again this is a stylistic option that i would take a look at if you scroll down here to the bottom again we see our change style button if we click that now we have some options to determine how that uh, review pops up on the front page. So depending on how much verbiage there is, you may want something simple like this. Uh, and you're also going to get your more button down here, which is going to lead you to an already put together reviews page that houses all reviews that you've uploaded into Chime. Uh, this next option here is uh, creating some featured areas. So again, you as the agents, you know what people are searching for. So a good way to assist your SEO is to uh, have something on your website that people are already searching for. So for example, uh, I believe this MLS is connected to a California MLS. So what we're gonna do is double click into our block as always, come down here and we're gonna add some neighborhoods. Now this pulls directly from the MLS. So we'll go a little simply here and just say, maybe I want to showcase San Jose as it's one of my marketing areas. If you just type that in, it's gonna give you some options and also some options for some different neighborhoods you can see, a lot of them. Um, in this case, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna showcase San Jose as a whole, add that as a marketing area, and you can see it already populates a block for you. Now this is gonna be a call to action on the live site, which I'll show you in a few minutes. But basically what it is, is a already put together templated page that pulls data from uh, Home Junction, Zillow, um, a number of our aggregators, uh, to give people an idea of what they can expect pricing wise and um, analysis wise for San Jose. Let's go ahead and add a couple more neighborhoods here. Let's just say Santa Clara. And again, as you noticed before, you can drill down if you want into specific neighborhoods. If there is something that you're looking for specifically, you can highlight it if it's a hot area, very popular. Uh, feel free to put it on here. It's going to hopefully uh, come up as a search result when people start searching for those specific areas. That's the idea. Uh, let's say this last one is Salinas, just for a little bit of uniformity here. So I want three of them going across. You can have as many of these as you'd like, but um, let's just go with this for the sake of simplicity. Uh, blogging is something that is considered to be one of the best SEO assistance pieces. Um, it creates a lot of diversified content and creates a lot of searchable terms and options. Um, again, it's a very good way to keep your site ranked. So if you already have blogs, uh, we'll go over this in a later video in more depth, but for these purposes, uh, let's just say my organization doesn't blog yet. We'll just go ahead and remove that block. Uh, what you see here now is a banner. So again, double clicking into this, uh, if we want to, we can add another uh, image that we've downloaded um, and just create this background. I like to think of these banners as a good way to break the page up. So maybe you have too much text or too many pictures stacked on top of each other. This can be a good way to sort of break it up, uh, remind the leads why they're here, what they're doing, uh, or just generally give them some information that you want them to know. Uh, next, we have quick searches. Now, quick searches, again, are a good way to bump up your SEO. If you know what they're searching for, simply click in and add your quick search link. What it's going to do is ask you how you want to uh, populate a search, basically. So under listing source, we'll say use a custom filter. And maybe I only want to look for something that is 2 plus, 2 plus, but under 850,000. 
so I can save that and then maybe I want to call this link uh, you know let's say 2 plus 2 plus um, let's say less than 850k so if you know that this is a hot search that people are performing um, this is a good way to get uh, yourself set up as a result potentially so we'll say OK and you know we may want to use a title that makes more sense to everybody that doesn't look so much like a math equation but you get the idea um, the next option here is the partners block so if you have somebody that you're using on a regular basis uh, that maybe they have a very active website and you've agreed to do some cross advertising it's very simple to plug in their information here just double clicking in here adding a partner link go ahead and uh, type their name up here you can add their logo and then their URL so people can click over there again it's uh, a good option for uh, cross advertisement it doesn't hurt to piggyback off of somebody that is, that you work with on a regular basis um, so they can get to your website and the lead can get to theirs uh, lastly the other thing that we really need to go through is the footer so again down here sometimes the logo needs to be different depending on brokerage um, or organization standards uh, or just simply MLS standards so what we'll do again is double click and if we want we can change this background color so let's just say we want this to kind of be black to go along with our header here and we've got a, a logo with a black background we'll go ahead and make sure that this font size is good enough for us you can do this all the way down it's individualized for each piece here uh, but more importantly what we're gonna do is scroll down here and we're gonna adjust this logo so again clicking into the pencil paper icon I'm going to grab my same logo go ahead and plug it right in here here we go so that's not big enough I guess so I'm gonna scale that up almost to the max but not quite and again you know we have some content down here um, we can make these adjustments later if we want uh, one thing to note here is all of this content is coming from a specific profile and that's what it's referencing right here now if you'd like this to if this is going to be a team site and you'd like this specifically to reference the entire organization as opposed to a single agent simply what you'll do is you'll go into your team info create a profile and then maybe you want to call it chime brokerage um, maybe this becomes an info at or something like that and then maybe a business line here um, and then you can name it something so that it recognizes that it's a uh, brokerage not an individual in which case all you do then is select that agent and it will reflect that contact information okay so since we're not using the partners block here I am going to go ahead and delete that block and let's take a quick look here uh, always remember to publish this is going to make everything that you've done live and it's going to save everything so we save it here and the next thing we want to do is just take a look at the live version of the site as it appears to the leads that show up so if we click here now you can see we've got our website here uh, our header sits up atop with our new logo our background looks good our featured listings look good we've got a home evaluation here um, contact information if you were to click into this it's going to go ahead and bring you to a page that is dedicated to this uh, agent so again I've added a personal photo here in the team information um, you can add whatever you'd like in here and it's got your contact information header footer everything so let's walk backwards here our reviews look good our featured areas look good We've got a banner image that we can make some changes to if we'd like one thing I notice here is that this box looks a little bit impacted so what I'm gonna do is jump back into the CMS tool I'll close my preview and I'm going to select the box above it scroll all the way oh, scroll up here and just add a little bit of spacing there so it doesn't look so tucked in um, you can do the same thing with the quick search block so just add a little more spacing that looks good we'll publish that and we'll have a quick look so again just scrolling down I think we need to do the same thing right here but for the most part I think we're getting to where we need to be so that looks much better let's go back and make an adjustment to this part here so again 
double clicking into the block that you'd like to edit scrolling down we're gonna add a little bit of space here to space these out we'll go ahead and publish that make sure it gets saved and we're gonna do the same thing here to our featured listings so we'll come down here add a little more spacing so everything's not so squished together and publish all right so I think this is good for a preview let's have a look again taking a look at our header we can make adjustments to these but most of this is already templated out for you um, we can add some pages and add some navigation here in the uh, website webinar we'll talk about this more in detail we'll go into every piece of it but I would say that in about 20 minutes we've put together a pretty good website here that is functional it's capable of capturing leads and it's got some places for people to go again a lot of these things as they click these call to action buttons as they click these um, anything here that's clickable the most of the pages are already templated out it's very rarely going to send them to a blank page so just keep in mind um, putting the website together it's not so daunting it's quite easy and as you can see if you've got some things already put together headshots uh, logos um, pictures of marketing areas some ideas for what kind of listings you'd like to feature then uh, that's really the homework that you'd like that you probably want to do before you get started with this but again I would say in under 20 minutes we put together a pretty good website so uh, if you have any questions feel free to reach out to your onboarding specialist your customer success manager if that's applicable or feel free to just reach out to our support team they'll certainly be happy to walk you through anything that you need to um, get through if you run into any pitfalls but again the idea of this video is to kind of show you how easy it can be to go ahead and put something together that is functional and ready to go. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks so much for your time, and we hope you have all the best of luck. We'll see you soon.